And if you have never seen it, when you drive down the hill and you see this bridge, you realize both the power and the beauty of it. Belinda Croson is the president of the Lethbridge Historical Society and the knowledge keeper of all things history in our city. She says by 1906, there was a concrete plan to build the high level bridge and it took about two years to finish the construction of it. What took a long time was actually building the machine that built the bridge. So they built what's called the Traveler. It took a month to build and it cost $100,000 in those days just to build the machine. The machine had 17 kilometers of cable on it and that's what lowered all the steel into place and then they riveted it together. By 1909 the last steel trusses were put into place on the bridge and that's when one of the most famous photos was taken. Two of the workers jumped off the end and were the first to cross over the bridge and there's a famous uh, raft and canning photograph of the two men in the air as they're landing at the other end. Uh, the two men were fired for that. You might also be wondering why the high level bridge is painted black. Croson says there's a specific reason as to why this color was chosen. And the black is designed to melt snow. So imagine a he really heavy wet snowstorm. If it had landed on the bridge and you have the weight of the bridge and then a train crosses the weight of the train, that could add stress to it. If you come out here after a snowstorm, you rarely see snow on the bridge and it gets because of the black paint and then with all the angles of the bridge, the snow falls off very quickly. Croson says there were also three deaths during the construction of the bridge. The old drift coal mines are under the coolies here. So they had some sinking they had to deal with. They also had people living down here when they were putting the concrete in. Uh, they were digging a lot of that by hand but they were leaving these large holes and some of it hit old coal mines. A young boy, being a young boy, went down to play. He was overcome by gas that was released from the old mines. They managed to get him out safely but two of the rescuers died in the attempt. One other man working on the bridge fell off and died. It was dangerous hard work that they were doing to construct this. The total cost to create the high-level bridge came in at just over 1.3 million dollars in the early 1900s and you can still see trains cross the bridge to this day. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.